Today, we will dive into the real story on magnesium. What does it do for your health? How to tell if you're low? How much do we need? And where can we find it? Let's start with the basics. How does magnesium benefit your health? Well, for starters, it plays a major role in muscle and nerve function. It helps regulate how your muscles actually contract and relax. In fact, magnesium acts like a natural calcium blocker, keeping those muscles from cramping or having spasms. It also supports nerve signals, ensuring that they fire correctly and communicate across your body. Magnesium helps your body absorb and metabolize calcium and vitamin D, two things that are critical for strong and healthy bones. Without enough magnesium, by the way, your bones can suffer and the risk of conditions like osteoporosis actually increases. Magnesium is also a powerhouse for heart health and often a missing nutrient that leads to heart complications. For starters, it helps keep your heartbeat steady. It supports healthy blood pressure and can reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. Magnesium is a key player in energy production. It's involved in creating ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, stay with me, which is the main energy carrier in your cells. So without enough magnesium, you can feel sluggish, you can feel fatigued, and if you add whole food B vitamins to the mix, like the kind in our Purely B flavor product, you will really see energizing results. If you're concerned about blood sugar or insulin resistance, magnesium helps regulate glucose or blood sugar levels and improves how your body responds to insulin, which is especially important if you have or are at risk for type two diabetes or even any kind of insulin resistance scenario. Do you struggle with anxiety, depression, or restful sleep? I have some good news for you. Magnesium impacts neurotransmitters that positively influences all of these. It helps regulate melatonin, the hormone that manages your sleep-wake cycle and supports the production of dopamine and serotonin. These are neurotransmitters that regulate our mood, behavior, and even appetite. So what are the signs that you're not getting enough magnesium? One of the most common clues is muscle cramps. They're awful, right? Magnesium helps your muscles relax. So when it's running low, those muscles start to spasm. And remember, your heart is a muscle too. So if you're feeling tightness in your chest or pain radiating into your jaw or neck, it can be a signal that you need magnesium and you need it fast. Another red flag is fatigue. Magnesium is essential, you see, for making energy. So when it's low, your battery drains quickly. You might also feel weak or find yourself struggling through the task that used to feel easy. It's not just physical energy that suffers, but also the cognitive faculties as well. Other warning sites include nausea, irregular heartbeats, tingling or numbness of your hands and feet, and even mental health symptoms. People with low magnesium often report feeling more anxious and depressed. That's because magnesium affects the neurotransmitters. Remember, the serotonin, the dopamine. And when that's missing, your mood can really suffer. So how much magnesium do you and I need? The recommended daily amount, it varies based on age, gender, life stage, but even with a healthy diet, it's hard to get enough. In general, teenage to adult humans need 300 to 500 milligrams of magnesium every day just to function well. Women tend not to need as much, except pregnancy and in nursing situations. Men and people over 60 need to be taking more. These are the groups that are really lacking the minimum levels. And did you know that more than 50% of our population is not getting enough, depleted. That's not the only area where depletion is happening. Foods that are grown in today's soils don't offer what they used to. Hey, Popeye the Sailor Man, we all know him. Did you know he was actually a real person in history? 
and he was getting on average two to three times more magnesium in his day, in his spinach, than you are. So even when you're doing everything right, you might still fall short. Magnesium is found in leafy greens like spinach and kale, nuts and seeds like almonds and pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds being the top food source, whole grains, bananas. But here's the kicker, just to get enough magnesium from pumpkin seeds, the top food source, you'd have to eat two to three full cups. That's eight to 12 servings every day. For most of us, that's just not realistic. Once you start getting enough magnesium, either through food, supplements, or both ideally, things change and they change quickly. Now, if you've ever shopped for a magnesium supplement, you know the options are endless and confusing. There are so many forms out there and they are not created equally. Magnesium oxide is one of the cheapest options and also the worst. It's poorly absorbed at around four to 6% absorption rate it can cause diarrhea, especially for anyone with a sensitive gut. Magnesium citrate is better, but it can still be harsh on your bowels if you take too much. Also, citric acid is not the best thing to pair with magnesium, in our opinion, because most citric acid is in fact GMO. Magnesium glycinate, on the other hand, is gentle on the stomach, highly absorbable, and great for correcting a deficiency. It's bound to an amino acid called glycine, which helps with absorption, gut health, and even calms the nervous system. Then there's magnesium taurate. I really like this one. It's particularly good for heart health and blood pressure. It's bound to taurine, another amino acid, and it helps regulate blood sugar and may even protect the brain and the eyes. It's less likely to cause digestion issues and is a great option if cardiovascular support is your goal. Finally, there's magnesium threonate. It's the only form known to cross the blood-brain barrier, which means it can actually support healthy cognitive function and memory. Once inside the brain, it increases the number of synaptic connections, basically helping your brain work more efficiently. If you're focused on mental clarity, mood, or long-term brain health, magnesium three and eight is the way to go. So by now, if you've watched the full video, I wanna congratulate you. You have become an expert on all things magnesium. You now know how absolutely essential this master mineral is. If you enjoyed this video, you got value out of it, uh, please like, share, and subscribe for more educational content.